Hello, my name's Paul Dude, and I'm here to show you how to make sizzlers. Just take some flour, a mug, fill the mug up with flour, and then tip that in. Now you need some lukewarm water, one third boiling water, two thirds cold, and then a good teaspoon of yeast. Drop that in your water, just stir it round until it dissolves and then throw it all in. Just save a little bit, just on the side there. And then hold the bowl with one hand, and with your fingers with the other hand, just go around and start mixing it into a dough. Once you're happy with that, then you can put it on the table and start to knead. All kneading is, is flattening and folding. So you flatten it, you fold it. Flatten and fold, Keep doing that. Now I'm going to show you how to shape these sizzlers. Once again, we cut them in four, this time in four pieces with the side of our hand. We put a flower on top and underneath. You've got a circle of dough, roll it out once and back again and then you've turned it into an oval shape, turn it round 90 degrees or a quarter turn, roll it back into a circle, roll it again. Right. So there's your four pieces of dough for the scissors. Now you take some mushroom, a couple of pieces of mushroom, and a strip across the middle of the sizzlers, and then some cheese on top of that, the grated cheese. Once you've got your cheese and your mushroom on, just take one side and bring it over the filling and press it, keep it down with your fingers and then bring the second side over, pick it up at both ends and put it on your baking sheet. Okay, they're ready to go in the oven now, as you can see by the fact they're nice and puffy, they're not nice and risen, so they can go in the oven for about 10 or 15 minutes. Okay, I just need to see if they're ready. You'll always get colour on top, but what you're looking for is the colour underneath. And there they are, the finished article. Nice and brown underneath, lovely colour on top. Put them to cool, and they're ready to eat. Mm -hmm.